Welcome back for another episode of Clever Octopus. Uh, this time I'm working on getting the water tank tops welded into the boat. So we'll start off by welding a 10 centimeter piece along the centerboard box and then putting stainless steel uh, L bracket supports underneath that. And I use uh, the level on my phone to uh, shoot a piece of angle iron across the boat towards the outside of the boat to create the supports for the outside piece of steel. So I think it'll be uh, it'll make more sense just seeing it happen. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy.
Alright, so the water tank has been moving along pretty well. I've got a rough cardboard template here for the um, outside top plate that needs to be cut. And I'm going to trace it out and give myself a little bit of margin. And that way I can use a joggle stick inside to trace against the hull and get the actual shape that I need. Okay, so the plate is in here, but there's maybe a two inch gap on this side. So we got a joggle stick. I'll just put a piece of tape on it to mark the length, and then I'll run this along the edge with the marker and mark off a line that exactly follows the curve of the hull that I want. But first, I need to make sure that this back edge is an even distance from the supports underneath, which I know I measured to be an exact length. So, let's do that. Alright, so the floor is in place and it's leveled this way. I ended up doing a, a relief cut all along this inside edge and I bent that edge down in to make a better contact with the hull. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a better weld. I can get down in there to weld it easier and uh, yeah, yeah, it's a better way to do it. And it doesn't affect the surface area of the floor because from the point where the rib sticks out through this plate back is unusable floor space anyway. And the wall of the boat will probably come down right about here. So no one will ever see that and it'll create a little water channel for uh, any condensation that comes down to uh, spill forward and backward into the bilges and not get up onto the actual floor surface. So that's good.
Hey guys, you remember how your mom told you not to play on the floor? <laughs> well, today we're playing on the floor of Clever Octopus. So this is the top of the water tank that I finished welding in. And this part is stainless steel and this is mild steel, Corten steel. And uh, you know, when you weld stainless steel to mild steel, or even when you just weld stainless steel, it uh, gets some heat in there and it can get little iron particles and that means corrosion can happen and it's not really stainless steel anymore. But to fix that, I've got this stuff, Weld Wizard 9310. Now really this is just citric acid. Um, we're going to put it on here, it's kind of a gel and let it sit for about 20 minutes and then wash it off. And the nice thing about this uh, is citric acid, it's not really harmful to your hands or the environment, so yeah. Um, other more harsh chemicals that are typically used, yeah, those you have to worry quite a bit about. But let's get this put on here and see what happens. Give it a shake first. Wow, there we go. Nice plop to work with. Now I made the lip of the water tank here stainless steel because I need to bolt through there. And where the threads go through, you know, there's going to be bare steel there. So. I figured it better be stainless and that way I don't have to worry about keeping it painted or having uh, lubricants or anything in my potable water tank. Ugh. This stuff kind of smells like rotten fruit. <laughs> All right, we'll give that 20 minutes and uh, see what it looks like. Um, let me give you a good picture of what it looks like before though, huh? Get focused here. Yeah, so you can see there it's just kind of discolored from the heat. It's pretty typical. So, we'll come back after and see what it looks like. Well, we uh, are having a thunderstorm right now, so uh, the lighting is not as good as I wanted it to be, but uh, got my bucket of water here. All we have to do is wipe this off. Apologize that I didn't bring my tripod. All right, so there's still a little bit of staining there. This might need another application. Um, for now, I'm just gonna wipe it all the way off and if it needs another application, we'll do it. But uh, that wasn't quite 20 minutes. If you let it sit longer, it works better, obviously. But uh, for a first test, this is pretty good. So. Yeah, this is super easy. You just have to make sure that your area is clean before you go to pickle it with this solution. So yeah, easy way to passivate stainless steel. Well, there's still a huge amount of work to be done on the water tanks. Uh, I've got about three quarters of the top of the port side tank done. Um, I need to weld in the walls on the front and back. We need to create the lid that runs down the center between the, the two plates that I've just welded in. And then we need to do the same thing on the starboard side. So yeah, it, it's going to take a few days more, but uh, it, 
shouldn't be that long. Um, yeah, and then painting, of course, but uh, painting of the interior is going to wait until it gets here to San Francisco. So, yeah. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed what you saw this episode, and lots more to come.